Have you ever noticed the perfusion index function found on some pulse oximeters like the Zoll X-Series monitor? What does it do? Is it valuable? The answer is definitely, maybe, I think so. With the pulse ox on my middle finger, you can see the value populate just below the SpO2, and right now I'm at about 4.8. But what does that number mean, and what can we do with it? Well, it's a real-time, non-invasive measure of hemodynamics with a fairly wide range of uses. Essentially, the PI is a numerical measure of the strength of the pulse, which indicates peripheral blood flow to the finger. So yeah, it's a fancy capillary refill time. The PI decreases with vasoconstriction and rises with vasodilation. So the lower the number, the worse the blood flow to the finger. Normal values vary with age. Term neonates average around 1.7. Adults vary from 0.3 to 10, which is a pretty big spread. Massimo suggests using it to determine the optimal monitoring site for pulse oximetry, aka shopping around on different fingers and going with the digit that has the highest number. There's also some research that came out of the Indian Journal of Anesthesiology, which looked at using the perfusion index to predict hypotension related to propofol induction. They found that an index below 1.05 predicted hypotension at 5 minutes with a 93% sensitivity and 71% specificity. Perfusion index can also be helpful when assessing illness severity in newborns. Researchers found that a foot skin PI value less than 1.24 is an unambiguous predictor of illness severity. Of course, in a vasodilatory state, the PI will be elevated as in a warm shock state. For example, neurogenic. This may be a limitation but could also aid in diagnosis. And when used as a trend, authors noted that in the pediatric ICU setting, a reduction of PI by 57% from baseline is a predictor of impending shock. So what do you guys think? Will you be adding perfusion index to your toolbox? I will include links to the articles below. And if you found this video valuable, Consider subscribing to my channel and liking the video. It really helps.